guys, how's it going? Ow. <laughs> okay, so that was Radio Friendly Unit Shifter by Nirvana. So I did try to play this song for you last week, but um, I'm afraid it didn't go very well. So this week, I thought I would try again and try to redeem myself. Now, I'm pretty much 100% sure that I did not play this accurately to how it's recorded on In Utero, but I can promise you that I did my absolute best for you. Pretty much every time I sat down to write the tab out, you know, listen to the song and write out the tab, I came up with a different result. I did it like four times. Um, mainly with regard to the verses and the outro, you know, the, um, the bridge and the choruses are pretty simple stuff. But, well, the intro, the verses, and the outro are all kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. So, um, yeah, with the verses, it's basically two guitar tracks on top of each other. So what I tried to do was kind of amalgamate them together and make it into one riff so that one person can play it. Um, yeah, so it's not 100% accurate to the track on the album, but it's the best I could do and the simplest way to do it for you. Now with regard to the intro, parts of the verses and parts of the outro, Kurt used an electroharmonics polychorus, that's how the song gets like its distinctive sound I suppose. Sadly, I do not have a polychorus, so I had to settle for using the small clone instead. Now with the small clone, it doesn't sound 100% accurate to the song, but if you put the depth switch up and then put the rate all the way up, um, it gets you kind of like in the ballpark I suppose. Um, I did try to use a delay pedal, you know, in conjunction with this pedal to try and get, you know, the um, sort of like sound of the polychorus, but I thought that was kind of complicating things a little bit. And with the uh, intro and the verses and the outro, um, I decided to use bends, like instead of a like, delay pedal, just to kind of make it easier for people that have less gear, I suppose. Although I did try my absolute best for you, and I promise I did, you know, I put a lot of work into this one and I'm still not 100% happy with it. But um, I don't have very much time to kind of like make these videos, so with the short amount of time I did have, this was the best I could do. And I think basically what it is, is, you know, just use this as guidelines, you know. Because, like I said, I doubt Kurt ever played this song the same way twice anyway. So just use it as guidelines and it will definitely get you in the ballpark at least. And anyway, grunge is not supposed to be, you know, rigid. It's supposed to be sort of loose and sloppy, do you know what I mean? So that does kind of sound like a cop-out, but like I said, I did my best. So all I can ask you to do is learn it the way I've showed you and then just, you know, improve it basically. That's um, the best bit of advice I can give you, you know, just try and uh, improve on what I've shown you. When it comes to the song itself, I literally have no idea what the song's about. I think it's basically just kind of like excerpts from like Kurt's poetry that he wrote over the years and just kind of like jumbled together into a song. Um, I believe the song was written well before In Utero but then it was recorded for In Utero, like later on, if that makes sense. <laughs> However, with the first line of the song, you know, use just once and destroy, I used to think that was like, kind of like a sideswipe at, you know, consumerism and materialism and capitalism and stuff like that. But then, quite a while ago now, I was looking online and I somehow stumbled across like a picture of a hypodermic needle, or an insulin needle at least anyway, and on the side of it, it said use once and destroy. Now, we all know that Kurt Cobain had drug problems, especially with heroin, so I don't know if this is just a coincidence or, you know, whatever. Probably not, to be honest, but who knows. <laughs> so anyway, enough of that crap. That was my version of Radio Friendly Unit Shifter by Nirvana. Hopefully this has been extremely helpful to you and has taught you how to play the song, at least the way I played it anyway. So um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit like and subscribe and leave a lovely comment below as you people have been doing and I do truly appreciate that as I always let you know. Um, yeah, take it easy guys, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.